For hands-on exercise number four, you're going to create your own type, and then you're gonna create a variable of that type, and then you're gonna print out the value stored in that, that variable, and then you're gonna assign a value to that variable, and then you're gonna print out the value stored in that variable after you've assigned a value. So that's basically what we're gonna do. So uh, for this exercise, create your own type, have the underlying type be an int, Create a variable of your new type with the identifier x using the var keyword. In func main, print out the value of the variable x, print out the type of variable x, assign 42 to the variable x using the equal operator. That's gonna be a nice little step right there, print out the type of variable x, and then assign 42 to the variable x using the equal operator, print out the value of the variable x. So that's what you're gonna do in this hands-on exercise. And uh, go do that, pause the video right now, go do your hands-on exercise, and then resume this video, and we'll show you the solution. Here's the solution. <laughs> so here's the solution. And one thing I wanna point out before we uh, look at the solution is I wanna just show you this one thing here. There's some nice documentation for this terminology of underlying type. And if you follow this link to the language specification about types, and we'll go there right now, I think I already have it up types, you can see here each T, right, each T, would each type T, so type T, and they're just using T as a generic placeholder for some sort of type, has an underlying type. If T is one of the pre-declared Boolean numeric or string types or a type literal, the corresponding underlying type is T itself. Otherwise, T's underlying type is the underlying type of the type to which T refers in its type declaration. If that makes your head sw swim and s swim, I guess, spiral, spiral, spiral's not a yeah. world word, spiral, swim and spiral a little bit. <laughs> uh, that's the language specification. It takes a little bit of reflection, but they have some examples here. Type T1 string. The underlying type of string T1 and T2 is string. So the underlying type of string T1 and T2 is string. So the underlying type of string is string. The underlying type of T1 is string. The underlying type of T2, which is T1, T2, is string, right? So the underlying type of string is string. The underlying type of T1 is string, and the underlying type of T2 is string. So the main thing I want you to get from this is this, this term, underlying type. So when you create your own type, it's gonna have an underlying type. And so we use that phrase to say underlying type. What is the underlying type? All right, so now let's do that solution. All right, so the first thing that, oh, I'll just leave it like that because otherwise I'll be zooming in and zooming out. Create your own type, have the underlying type be an int. For whatever reason, I like uh, this thing type hot dog int, just because it's like totally ludicrous. <laughs> type hot dog int. And then we're gonna create a variable, and I think the variable is x, of type hot dog. So var x is of type hot dog. I'm declaring, I'm declaring that x is of type hot dog. And so let's just check that we're gonna use x. Create a variable of your new type with the identifier x using the var keyword. In func main, print out the value of the variable x. So I'm gonna print out the value of the variable x. Let me just ask you, what is that value gonna be? And what is it called? That value is going to be zero, and that's called the zero value. Because we have not assigned a value yet to our variable of type hot dog, the compiler will automatically assign a value, and that value is known as the zero value. So I'm gonna do that, and there's the zero value. And now we wanna uh, print out the type of variable x. So to print out the type from the fumped package, we have fprint, which is file print, or we have print F, which is format print. And so I need to use my braces, curly braces, my brackets or the squares, and my prints. I need to use my prints there. And so now I'm gonna do that, and then percent, percent %t is the format printing verb. And we saw all this in the previous video about how to look that up and how that all works. But that will print out the type. So let's print the type out. And we can see from package main, we have type hot dog. <laughs> All right, so what's the next thing that we need to do? Assign 42 to the variable x using the equal operator, print out the value of the variable x. So now we're just gonna assign a value to it, our own value, and then uh, we'll again print out the value stored in the variable. 
There we go. And I'll put in a new line character backslash in so that main dot hot dog and 42 are on two separate lines. And that's the solution to this, uh, this hands-on exercise number four. We're getting really close to achieving Jedi level number one. We got two more to go.